you're giving Gigi some loving. You'll come up here and give Gigi some loving. Look at my. You're me. She's no, not mean. mean. Gigi's sweet. Just because she goes quack, quack. That means she's happy. That means you're ha making her happy. That's a I give her kisses. You always give her, all of your animals kisses? I do, because they're like my children. You don't have them, okay? I do, but I like these children better. <laughs> <laughs> these children are better. They mind me. They don't back talk. Yeah. They don't. I don't have to put them in time out very often. <laughs> they love me unconditionally. They're happy to see me. Those are so sweet. <laughs> okay, so I heard you've been trying things new now. What have you tried new? Uh, what did you eat for breakfast that has syrup on it? A uh, pancake. Was it delicious? What'd you think about it? Good. Is that the first time you've had a pancake? Mm -hmm. Okay, what what else have you ate that's, that's got cheese on it? Cheese. Cheez 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 no, not Cheez-Its. Cheeto. Cheez no, what are they called? Yeah. Cheetos? Cheez puffs. Yeah, cheese puffs. I can't even talk. It's been so yeah. long since I've had a kid. I have to ride that thing. Don't worry about the cheese puffs. Don't they do like, <laughs> they get all over you? Do you have to wash your hands? No, you had to. I'm proud of you for trying something new. Yeah. What made you try something new? She said, why'd you try something new? Try new? I need to tell you something. Okay, tell me. <coughs> Goodness. Okay. What are you going to tell me? Don't get too close. Tell me. You got a secret to tell me? Or are we just taking a video? We're just taking a video. Okay. All right, say cheese. Cheese. I'm proud of you for trying something new. You're doing so good. <laughs> I want to, are you going to take those eggs home and make cookies? You going to make them for your sister? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I gave you some, look, I gave you some chocolate chips to take home with your eggs so you can make cookies for your sister. No, I'm going to make some for her, some for me. Oh. And put some for your grandmother and your mama. Yeah. And your daddy. Mm -hmm. Tell them what you got new. What was born on your on your at your house yesterday? That go dog. Puppies? Yeah. You got baby puppies? I bet they're so cute, aren't they? Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, he wants to give Jackson some smoochies. <laughs> he does. He wants you to pet him. <laughs> Tater bug. Look, go like this. Do it, girl. She's gonna do it. Yeah. Panic, Chloe. Go, Mother. Look at the girl. Hey, Jackson, he's wanting to get down on one knee like you did last time. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> they remember you, Jackson. They remember you doing the water challenge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't tell them to bite the jacket. Just tell them no. no. Remember Jackson, Dee Dee? Mm. You want to touch her? Go touch her on the back. There you go. Perfect. See, and you can see her big old belly. She has a baby in her tummy. <laughs> <laughs> that rotten rabbit. You like it, don't you? Thank you so much. All right, Joe. <laughs> I just want you to pay him, Joe. Can you get over? So here, yeah, yeah, I know. See if I can. They're trying to see what your bottle's all about. Yeah. Mm. I can't remember my own bottle right here. Yeah. That's mine. Yeah. Right there, so. I don't know that. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Small. Small. Aww. Good job. Maybe. Get it. I can't get it fast enough. I love it. All right, look at me. <laughs> oh, that one is so pretty. So okay. sweet, isn't it? I like that. What kind See, is that? See, I told you, if you're real gentle, 
It'll be your friend. Isn't that a cooing? See how she's cooing and she likes it? See, and you can put her down. Look at you. Oh my goodness. You can oh put her God. down. What kind of a... Wait, how did you get the rocking chair? Uh-huh. Because she's I'm had lady. surgery and she needs to be rocked. <laughs> Uh, she's hopping. Her eyes, look how big her eyes are. They're so pretty. Her little nose is just streaking. She's looking. She? Gigi. <laughs> oh, she's mad because her best friend's over here getting loving. She's jealous. Okay, the famous boy brought his sister to bring his sister to be famous. <laughs> he didn't want to be famous by himself, did you? Yeah. You want to be famous with your sister? What's your sister's name? Chloe. Chloe? Okay. What, well, you gotta tell me your favorite animal out here. Uh, it's a pigeon. The pigeon was your favorite? Isn't it cute? Mm -hmm. What do you want to go see now? Uh, do you want to go see, go see if the cow is ready to have a baby? Let's go do that. Today is Friday, and I came out here and look, she's starting to bag up a little bit. See how there's milk in there? Now from behind, from behind, you see there's, it's not anywhere near where it should be. That's where our tutu looks like. Let's see. This is what she looks like. So, maybe we're making some progress. Um, today is the 20, oh, I don't even know what today, I think it's the 28th. No, it's the 29th. Today's Friday. So it's the 29th, I have her due April 12th, but I'm not certain that I'm 100% correct on the date because, you know, I'm not sure. I just know that's when Dexter was interested and I wrote down the date. But, um, <clears throat> I feel certain we're getting closer. I feel certain. It ain't full enough yet, but we are making some progress. All right, update on this little girl. I had her do Wednesday. Um, she is, she is massive. <laughs> she is very big. She, she, you okay, girl? Um, last time she totally separated herself, so don't worry about her being free ranging because when she starts to farrow, she will separate herself and get away from everyone. All animals do that, I guess it's just their sense. Um, they, they. Their mom instincts kick in. Let's look at her belly. Oh, goodness. I rubbed that belly. Goodness gracious, she, she. Oh, her stomach is tight. Tight. We're going to have babies everywhere. Today is Friday, and I have a 
huge tour today. There are about 45 people coming. Now these, this is not a field trip. These are individual families. I'm assuming I'm so busy because it's uh, the Friday before Easter and people are looking for something to do with their children that's positive. So I decided today, normally when I do a tour, I don't do the whole production. I just read my book. But today I decided to treat it as a field trip. So I'm gonna dance with the people, I'm gonna read my book, I'm gonna educate, and then we'll come out and feed the animals. But I hope everyone shows up. Normally when they book a tour, they show up. But I think there's about 12 different families that's coming. So it's always interesting to see families connect. They have no idea who each other are, but by the end of the tour, they make friends. I'm letting all the animals out. Come on. Come on, babies. Y'all go play. We got we got a bunch of people come today. Everyone needs to be on their best behavior. Everyone needs to be making good decisions. No fighting. We must all get along. You think they're listening to me? Often I get comments from you guys telling me, Judy, you're making such a difference in people's lives. And I hope that you see in the video that not only, I guess, am I changing people's lives, I don't really feel like it's me per se, but I hope that you see how people that come to my farm impact my life. I'm walking around straightening up because I need to make sure everything looks good for the tour. Um, probably wonder what all it takes for me to get ready for a field trip or a tour, but mainly just walking around the property to make sure everything's clean and make sure I have to assess the animals to make sure that they're having a good day because if Dexter's not having a good day, then I don't let people out in the farm or, you know, with, with having two girls that are close to labor, I have to be careful. You know, I have to make sure that one of them's not going into labor and there's 42 people out there. And, um, my animals are used to people being here every day. So it's not like they won't go in labor because people are here because they've done it every single animal that I have have gone into labor with people here. So they're used to that. That's not something they're uncomfortable with. I think that when animals are used to being a certain way, they just don't know any different, just like us. You know, if you don't teach your kids to be any different, they won't be. Okay. <laughs> You want some? Oh, yeah. Want some feed? Yeah. Okay. Good job. Oh, <laughs> you got your hand stuck. Get one hand. There you go. <laughs> Good job. You want to get some food and see if she'll eat out of her hand? I don't know if it will. I'll hold my hand under your hand. So. <laughs> Good job. You're not scared at all, are you? Is your sister's going to do it? <laughs> Hey, that turkey will eat out of your hand and he's super gentle. Oh, he already did. Oh, he did? Okay. <laughs> Look, she likes you to see that. I'll put her over there. Isn't she sweet? Yeah, she is. 
So someone got her and then decided they didn't want her anymore and they threw her out of the way. And this is the one that the dog attacked. And so I got her and took her to the vet. Let me cover her ears. <laughs> Don't tell her she has one leg because she has no clue. <laughs> okay? Okay. No one tell her. Don't go, oh, I feel so sorry for her because she has no clue. <laughs> I want y'all to come over here and watch it. What are you playing, Jackie? Yeah, Alright, y'all come over here and watch this. Watch her in here. Can you believe she jumps right out of that like there's nobody here. She is amazing. So what I do is I take Quacky Jackie. She has met so many kids that are amputees. Um, we've had several children come here that um, meet her because they're like, you know, one little boy had lost his leg and um, they, he wanted to come get his picture made with Clacky Jackie. I also, when it first happened, I would take her into nursing homes for amputees to teach them not to give up because she literally has no clue. <laughs> She is a champ. She has, I've had her for three years now, and she had surgery a week after I got her. But she does well. But I have to keep her in here because she can't swim. And so she has this little pool where she can touch the ground, and she pushes herself up to get out. So she's amazing. Do you want to go to the pig animals? Oh, yeah. Say bye. That's right. Say bye. Can you say it? Ba. That's what is she saying? A say? baby, a baby. A baby. You see the goat? So that's another good question. She has horns. He is the bull. He does not have horns. It's actually the opposite. Y'all make sure you put, leave a place for her in case she wants to get out of this barn. Yeah, so leave an opening. You better, you better move. It's getting too loud in here. It's time to get out. Get out.